Welcome to Unfold the Self. So our date of birth is our entry into time and space. Remember, our date of birth and name are not accidental. So for future calculations, we are going to use two influences. One is the date of birth and our name. For learning numerology, we need two pieces of information. One is our date of birth and other is the name. So before we actually start learning the, uh, the calculations, uh, please show our viewers how to yes. do the basic uh, re reduction into a single digit number. Okay ma'am. Okay. So uh, Pragati, for basic calculations, you tell our viewers how to reduce the numbers. Okay. Say for example, you take uh, 13. 13 is what? 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Correct? Yes. Uh, you write 26. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Now you write 29. Now here you have to remember 2 plus 9 is 11. Yes. And it will remain 11. Okay. Okay. Now you write 1975. So 1 plus 9 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to is equal to 22. Hmm. Now this will remain 22. Okay. Now this is the first basic calculation okay. which everybody has to understand. Okay. So, Pragati, there are main six influences hmm. actually. Okay. The first main influence is the life path number. And today we will learn about the life path number. Our life path number is the sum total of our date of birth. Okay. So, please show our viewers how to calculate the life path number. Okay. Because here you can't afford to make a mistake. Yes. Okay. Yes. 14th May, that is 5. Yes. 1982. Now, how do you add? You first reduce each number into a single digit number. 14. 14 becomes a 5. Yes. 5 remains as it is. This will and if you add 1982. 20. It is 20 which is 2. Now, add all these 3. 5. 5 plus 5 plus 2. What it is? 12. So, yeah. life path number is 12, 3. Life path number is 3. You write LP number 3. Now, in this calculation, the life path number is 3. 3. So, this is one example. Okay. So, the second example we will be taking using a master number. 29 December, that is 12, 2007. Okay. Yes. Now, now 29, reduce 29 to single digit number? 11. Is 11. Okay. 12 becomes three. 1 plus 2, 3. And 2007 becomes 9. 9. Now you add 11 plus 3 plus 9. Twenty-three. Twenty-three and 5. So life path number is 5. Here the life path number is 5. Okay. Now, we will take one more example. LP number. Okay. Okay. We will take one more example. Uh, you write 2020 January 2006. So, 20 becomes 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. January is 1. Yes. And 2006 is 6 plus 2 is 8. 8. Now, add this. What is the total? 1 plus 8 is 11. 11. Now, here the life path is 11. Okay. 
okay not a two okay we'll take one more example pragati okay okay you write 18th 1818 june is 6 yes 1996 So what we are doing is we are actually reducing each number into a single digit number first and then adding. Yes. You are not supposed to add like one plus eight plus zero plus six plus one plus nine plus nine plus six. This is not the right way. Correct. I'll tell you why this is not the right way because in Pythagorean numerology we learn master numbers, eleven yes. and twenty-two, and later on we'll also learn some karmic numbers, okay, which we'll never get if you add in this manner. okay that is why first reduce every number to a single digit number and then do the addition so now here 1 plus 8 9 it becomes 9 plus 6 plus 7 9 plus 9 18 plus 7 25 27 27 now so 9 plus 6 plus 7 is 22 now here the life path number is 22 please follow only this method So again, I'll tell you, reduce each number into a single digit number. The day number, reduce to a single digit number. Then the month number to be reduced to a single digit number, and then the year number also, and then they are added. And if the total is eleven and twenty-two, they should be left like that. Yes. Otherwise, whatever double digit number you get, you again add and reduce it to a single digit number. So uh, I know I I I hope this is clear to everybody. Now, Pragati, you just add like that: one plus eight plus zero plus six plus one plus nine. Now you see what the total comes out to be: forty. So this is not the correct way. We are not going to use this calculation. So what does our life path number mean? Hmm. as i told you life path number is the most important number okay now this life path number decides 50% of our life hmm. so we can say it's our destiny number okay. it is the purpose of our life it is the where of your life where you have to go this is the where of your life where you are supposed to be hmm. so that is the goal Okay, and life path is not like you are here and life path is here. No, it's not that simple. Life path is there, and you are here, and it is like a uphill task. Mm -hmm. Why uphill task? It is see, we are climbing against gravity, so that's a big challenge. Correct. Then there are many obstacles and challenges which we uh, which we have to overcome to reach that goal. Okay, then you know when we have to climb a mountain, we need some equipment. We need good shoes. you need a stick maybe you need a hook or a rope or whatever correct so where does the equipment come from to reach this goal of life path the equipment comes from our birthday number and our name numbers which will be calculating later on which will be studying later on okay okay yes. so this life path number is not an easy number secondly another thing that you have to understand is though we are born with this life path number we are calculating from our date of birth hmm. but in the early childhood that person doesn't understand the meaning of life path number though the characteristics of that number are dormant in that person but that person is not aware of those numbers so these these the characteristics of that number will start manifesting only after a certain age say after 30 in some cases it will be early in some cases it might be even late but but uh i won't say that everyone has uh, even at by the age you turn 70 75 or 80 one doesn't learn the life path number completely so there are we see so many people who learn very early there some people who just don't learn their life path number the reason behind is maybe they don't have the supportive numbers their equipment is weak hmm okay no, understood so that is the most important thing you have to understand so this is the goal of your life okay, okay. now on this path you will find opportunities hmm. on this path you will also find obstacles you will find challenges there will be red flags there will be sometimes there will be nice green tree where you find the shade 
sometimes long patches of aloneness there is nothing there are some patches where uh, there is lot of greenery so all sort of combinations okay so for some people we say that the life path is easy for them because their numbers are helping them other numbers whereas some for some people we see you know that they have difficult lessons in life people face lot of difficult lessons in life so for them learning the life path becomes little more difficult okay so this will also tell you what lessons you are going to encounter correct <laughs> yes okay <laughs> so this is a lesson for which we are incarnated oh so understand everyone unless you learn this there is no mukti if you don't learn your life path lesson you are going to take another birth <laughs> i think i'm talking a big thing <laughs> that is why it is called the I'm... destiny number uh see our life whatever is our life path number all those qualities are there in you okay they don't show up in childhood they may not hmm. but as you uh, become an adult as you start growing up then you start understanding the meaning of that number so many times we see that some children are you know they are very mischievous in the childhood but suddenly they grow up and they become very serious correct so we are given the numbers hmm. we choose the aspects again i again and again i tell you we are given the numbers where we have no choice but we have a choice of choosing the aspect of the number so, so basically we, the life path is basically learning the positive aspects of that particular number ma'am when you are talking about life path one thought came into my mind why did you change from the medical practice to numerology <laughs> <laughs> okay uh maybe it's in my genes uh i just wanted to learn numerology why i do not know you know and when i started learning i became very passionate about it and when i said it it might have come through my genes my father was an astrologer he practiced yes. astrology it's not that he was only an astrologer he he practiced astrology only after he retired from his job then one of my brothers who is a doctor also who is a physician uh, he does good palmistry oh he studied palmistry another brother he is a um, phd in physics very much interested in um, um, astrology okay he is into astrology oh okay yes so so maybe it is coming it's yes. there in our genes we can say because i became so passionate about numerology that i decided that uh, um, bus i want to leave my practice and do this okay yeah see it's not about it was not about uh, money or anything you know in medical right. practice you earn yeah very well but in numerology i knew that this it's not about uh, making money but i just got so passionate about this subject and i realized that this uh, you know <clears throat> if you really understand numerology very well you will understand that it is uh, it changes you from inside hmm. one is it makes you understand yourself and people around you better okay okay so don't those questions in your mind uh, you know why why somebody is behaving like this or somebody doesn't behave like this, whatever i suddenly i read oh his number is going to be yeah. acceptance comes. acceptance comes acceptance came very easily so i thought that this is something which is helping me uh, evolve spiritually okay and for some years i did practice numerology i was consulting uh, but uh, then i started teaching in the past 6 okay. years i think i started teaching okay then the covid came then yes. we had uh, online classes correct and now for past maybe a month or so <laughs> yeah, we, you have put me into this <laughs> <laughs> we are we are giving this you are giving this education through our channel unfold the self 